Hey, here's Joe again and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 where we're in the Crown of the Iron King DLC and I went ahead and went up this elevator to this place again where there's the big knight. Oh god. Does Nadia buff him? I think it. Uh, it didn't, I think she hears him, but not fast enough to make any difference. That is bullshit. There is a wall very clearly between us a very clear war mm. of course Nadia hears him by the way before I go too deep into that I have to check on the number of smelter badges no problem okay and that make me miss my elevator up we have to wait for the next turn well, once we respawn, we have to run and we will then just reach the elevator in time if we run without stopping. But for now, we have to go up so that you... Sp that was so that all this whole thing was yet now on purpose so that you could see all of this again. Okay, so, this big guy. Oh god. Um, my friend, I'm underestimating your reach. At least we don't get stunned by a stupid fire thrower thing on the side. Oh no, we get killed by it though. All the while just needing one more hit, which makes me greedy. Seeing that I need only one more hit to kill an enemy, a uh, hard enemy always makes me that greedy that I won't ever get that hit. Oh, fuck you, game. Oh, we missed our elevator. No. Okay. So we have a little bit of margin for error on the running there. So, come on. Oh, there's a chest in that corner over there. Do you remember me saying that at least the fire doesn't stun me? It does. Oh, 
Oh, stamina. Fuck you. That was behind you. That's not where the opening of your arm goes. Stamina? Stamina? And kill the fucking guy, finally. These aren't that bad, I should have just fought them all straight. I saw you through the wall. Nadia. Soul of Nadia, Bride of Ash. It was, I think, the fifth one that we found. And we get the life ring plus three that we don't need. Five flame butterfly. Oh god. And one tight night slap, three shanks. Uh, when we just cleared that corner, my character did make almost a jump at. Which uh, wasn't what I wanted to have. Ha uh, no, 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 no. Nobody wants to close doors. People want to pick up things that are on ground right in front of them. Thank you. Ten shots. Petrified something. For the birds. And seven. I have seven broadsword pluses. Yeah. A broadsword plus seven. This doesn't have anything. Okay. Only seven minutes in, one room already. Be wary of jumping. Yep. Have we been there already? At that little ledge? I don't think so. Hurrah for treasure. Okay. Pilgrim's Spittoon. That's an whatever. Uh, Spittoon. A spear? There it is. It's a spear. Spontoon. The spear is a catalyst. Okay. Nah. Those double purpose things are never as good as the single purpose things. Okay, so let's return back to our bonfire. Just this way. And then not this elevator, but this one. He wanted again to throw me off the side. I felt that. So this was closed by, uh, by a key and then we had a second door further up at the one elevator that's also closed by a key. Okay, so here. This one should lead me down once we get on it. It's a big statue. Let's see where it leads us. Ah, this is the ending place. Okay, we have a little gate that's locked. Then we have an elevator leading further down and we have this outward place. Oh, this one, yeah. I'd like to ignore you guys. But I'm not really able to ignore you guys. Because you fucking stupid. Yep, that made my whole screen shake. And that was what I expected. Key ahead, it says. 
Ah, this is where we get the key. Be wary of trio and then try eliminating one at a time. Yeah, of course someone's calling. Eh, fuck you. Always. Always. Always when I'm recording. Always when I'm recording. God damn it, don't follow me here, please. Let's go on that elevator so that that guy will return to his spawn location. I can't even pause the game because mm -hmm. there's no pause game function. So, uh, where were we? Big guy up ahead, yeah. Thank you for ignoring that I'm rolling. Oh, I hate that. Can you follow me into this? Yes, you can. But you won't. Okay. Okay, that's a nice thing. That I'll take full advantage of. That he won't follow me inside here. Also, I'm all the time jinxing it that he just comes rushing in and one-shots me all of a sudden. great that I couldn't see anything because of my fucking big head. But okay, this is the way to fight these guys. We got the first one. Who dropped a smatter him. These are the chicken wings. Ah, okay. Smatter hammer. Requires uh, the little 70 weird, which I have if I do a weird it. It's a, the, the spinning attack is so weird. But this is way more satisfying and crushing. Yeah, I'll be using my sword instead, but uh, it's a weird weapon. Like, imagine dual wielding those. Uh, you need... Uh, if you would come up with a number bigger than uh, 99, while calculating what you need to do weird uh, weapons and then it will just be set down to 99 again. I assume there will be more. Beware of trio and then luring one at a time, it said. There is the lurable guy. Did he do jump attack? Also the thrust attack is interesting. Can I do it too? With the big smash hammer? <laughs> His uh uh, uh, his shoulder thingies exploded the powder cakes that were still in that corner. So you can use uh, those guys that I killed before because I didn't want them to... What the fuck is that jumping attack? Wow, uh, you could use them to kill these guys. Okay, he's on real reset routine now. Never let stamina completely run out. I just saying it and then I'm doing uh, I'm doing it.
Last one. Okay. We expected a trio, so be very careful about another guy spawning. Because the last one could be a real ambush. Drinking Titanite, Charcoal Pine Resin. Each one of these guys could have stuff inside them. We learned that already. To tighten that chunks. <gasps> Ooh, that one has a different weapon. That guy has a different weapon than the others. I'd like you to drop that weapon, please. For me. Not like that. Not dropping it on my head. That wasn't what I meant. Although I must say that I'm quite surprised by the reach of the jump attack with the big hammer. Okay, I put him past the threshold. His AI has changed. And he will no longer pull back. Yeah. Run in. <sighs> that thrust attack. He didn't drop his, uh, his ex, his ex, yeah, his mace, I would say. Okay, so we should only be wary of trio. Item head, huh? Large self named the soldier. These were always souls if they contained items. Skeptic spice. With the dusk herbs. And that's the item we came for. I suppose it's the tower key. So now we have different possible pathways to take. Um, and I know I made it quite boring by pulling them that way. But that's the way I go with this. So use the tower key for this. Stairway. I think this is not the formal way. Lie ahead, therefore, sadness. Illusory wall ahead. Nope. Where does this lead? Oh, back to this. Rough or right, it says. Two twilight herbs. Okay, this is where we get a way to go all the way to the bottom. Hmm, I thought... I didn't think so. Okay. So if the tower key guarded this... There's also other places that must have been guarded by the tower key. Huh. I was just wanting to say perfect timing. But there was like a second statue over there. That we can also use to go down. Where does this go then? Enemy hort ahead. Okay. We could go to the upper one. Ah, this is again enemies that beware of left, therefore try rolling. Give me rolling, a hater.
Weird that this guy was fire buffed. And we're doing our usual thing again. Uh, if we see enemies from above, we're gonna kill them with bow and arrow. Because we don't want them to be behind us at any point. And directly below us is another enemy. Yeah, I know this is boring, but this is how I go. Be wary of enemy horde, it says. I had therefore weakness rear. Nope. to hit him from here. Running link the legs is also interesting. <sighs> Got that guy. A little bit less hard than usual. Danger zone ahead. Yeah, that breaks. We step on it, that would break. He tried to attack us, but we were on wrong floors. I mean, yeah, that's an assumption that was something that can go wrong. It's totally normal. So we would have fallen through that, then through that, falling all enemies. Hollow ahead. Light ahead. Hollow ahead? I was thinking they were speaking about invisible hollows, but I think it's a warning of the next collapsible floor. Okay, that's not the lowest floor. Ah, they're waiting for the guys falling through all the floors in succession. Because all those collapsible floors were one under each other so that you don't die. But you're stunned, stunned long enough for you to fall down multiple floors. The falling, uh, the plunging attack, by the way, w doesn't really track well in this game. That's why I'm not doing plunging attacks to uh, save on like two arrows. Front and short range battle. <laughs> Darker pine resin. And partisan plus six. Ooh. That can make us fall to the balcony. Which gives us the advantage of range battling him. Wow, what a perfect place to be. Just look how glorious our viewpoint is. Um, I mean, the back of our head looks interesting now with this helmet on. I might be skipping you past most of this. So if this... I'm so confused where the other one then leads, if this doesn't lead where I thought the other one... If this does lead to the bottom, then the other one must lead to the optional place. Interesting. We also got the tower key, I know that, so once we reach a bonfire, we'll be able to properly check uh, up on those two closed doors upstairs.
by range red battle but poison yeah poison arrows would have been a nice idea that would have been less expensive to use like six arrows total so we can now run through this oh god more of those try dash yeah no try shooting that guy Or pulling this guy over. If he sees that he can't range the takers. Yeah. Easy. That was all my stamina. Almost again. He stunned me out of it. Interesting. I didn't expect that. Okay, back into the dark places. Shouldn't there be like a second one of those? Are you fucking respawning? Why? Are you respawning only twice? Or do you have infinite respawns? This fucking guy respawns. Okay, try dash. Makes sense. Ignore those fuckers. Just ignore those fuckers. Two doors, one to the right. Has holds a chest. Doors recutting. Heightens the uh, damage of sorceries, but will lower physical defense. As all the clutch rings do in Dark Souls 2. While in Dark Souls 3, they uh, would, uh, it wouldn't be the physical defense that's lowered. It would be uh, lightning attack at high, uh, heightened and lightning defense lowered, which makes more sense to me. But okay, we can dash through that now. <clears throat> Hopefully don't dying too not dying too much. There is an enemy horde here, I know that. But it should be basically no problem. That's dropping through. Healing every now once in a while. And then running through here. Not letting my stamina run out. He didn't even hit me because his stuff was behind me. Uh, we need to go in here for that sweet soul count of only 16k, but whatever. And this leads towards an elevator that will ride down. Taking another arrow to the face. Thank you. Not nice of them to respawn. Okay. Big fuck it. Putting them one at a time. Fuck you. Lock on. Oh, these are the big guys with the big hammers.
Fuck you. If this stun didn't block him back, I would have needed one less uh, attack. Okay. So, hopefully not spawning the second one before time. Use the smelter wedge for Nadaya. I'm picking up her sword, yeah? I should really look up if there's like a discontorted version of that audio showing me whether that's English or Japanese what she's talking I had nice chunks here come on Sometimes I'm surprised by their combo attacks. And I know that they're almost able of one-shotting me, that's why I'm always healing in between. I'm in a corner. I didn't expect that corner to be here. I did pay no attention to that corner while running through here the first, first time around. Are you retreating or not? I think that was a try at guard breaking me. That weird offense attack. Maybe that's a grab. Oh god. Why couldn't I roll? Why couldn't I roll? I need to heal. And we got the second one. I hate these guys, they are so powerful. But we get a second Nadaya over here. Which takes always a while to break apart. Soul of Nadaya, Bright of Ash. And a bonfire that I won't rest at because those two guys I don't need to fight them again because we have another side of this room to discover still I mean we could just lure them away and then do the Nadaya stuff as a corpse run thing it might even work I don't know if she has also Papers on this side? Apparently not even. Okay. We got one more. No protector? Sort of a brave warrior over here. No protector. Okay, expected four protectors for the four Nadayas. So basically what she does inside there is obviously, you could guess it, is a boss room. And if one of them outside here is still alive while the boss fights in the second phase, uh, they will constantly heal him. 
Uh, let's see if we can get a look at what's going on in there. Isn't he there before the cutscene? We see a sword. We see a sword, but not him himself. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's his sword. But he is not there yet. Okay. We'll fight him at some point, don't worry. But not just now. We have different stuff to discover. So first off is the thing that I will still want to do this episode. That's going... We had the lowermost floor bonfire, by the way. That's how it's called. Uh, we're still missing one bonfire, though. And let's, that leads us back to the foyer. Where we want to go down. Where I almost went down, but I, then I did stop that. Because I thought it was the straightforward path. So that what I teased at the in this episode, I want to show you. The first door we opened with the tower door. Which is this one. Leading into that hallway down. With not having an illusory wall here for whatever reason. Don't see why anyone would expect one here. Yeah, we already see. Like places we've seen before. That's the bridge that leads to the lower place. So this must lead somewhere different. Yeah, there's another landing below us. And this is near that place where we fought that one big guy. Can we still get more down from here? I remember places to jump to that had items. But by looking around, I don't see any of those. Nope, that's just weird lighting. Okay, so we had a door here, leading into a cavern that's called the Iron Passage, giving us a bonfire. And directly we see the summon room. So this is one of the, the uh, one of the areas that you can summon uh, people to who don't have uh, the uh, who don't have the DLC. It's this Iron Passage. We still have another bonfire, which we won't go for in today's episode, but I think in the beginning of tomorrow's, maybe? So this is where we want to uh, end the DLC. That's the last fight of the DLC. So we want to go back to the foyer. And we had two doors here that will open with a tower key. One up uh, to elevate it and then to the left and the other directly here. Where we can already see curse stuff at work. So it's like the other tower where we had to scale down. But, okay, that's it. So. Tomorrow's episode, we're going to start off by going into that curse room and then uh, doing the Iron Passage, I think. Uh, and the day after that, uh, we'll go uh, upstairs, up the elevators and to whatever that leads to. Have a nice day. See you then. Mm -hmm.